Hello and welcome to episode 4 of the She-Wolf series. There are more episodes on my channel and other series as well. And if you'd like adult content, there is a link to my Patreon down below. I do want to give a small content warning. With this particular episode, there's just some discussions around a not very nice childhood. So if that's potentially something that um, you might find distressing, I do just want to make that clear that those conversations are in this episode. But if you have any other comments or questions, please feel free to leave them down below. And as always, I hope you enjoy. Hmm. What time is it? Oh, God. Well... Good afternoon. How long have you been awake? Long enough to read half a book. <laughs> You've been pilfering my shelves. What did you pick? History of North Korea. So just some light morning reading then. Here. Aren't you starving? Oh, you brought me back food too. Well, that's nice of you. Thanks. <clears throat> that sounded sarcastic, but that's just my voice, apparently. Is that why you're dressed? Foraging for food. Well, I'm still naked, so that hardly seems fair. Uh-huh, or you could just get undressed again. Yeah, that works. But get back into bed with me. It's cold. So... Yeah, I would say this means we're officially mated. Hmm. Are you okay? Well, I had you fully tied up. You did seem like you're enjoying it, but just wanted to make sure. Am I okay? I don't know. I thought I wouldn't have to deal with feelings anymore and then you've come along in your little ballet flats and gone here. Have some emotions. Yeah, well, the feelings I have aren't usually very nice ones. No, I liked it. It's not you, it's my screwed up, twisted little brain. I liked you calling me sir, too, so... There's that to think about. Hmm? What other books did you look at while I was asleep? Yeah, it's pretty much all non-fiction. Or oh, classics. I never got given an education, so I educate myself. No, I never went to school. Grandfather taught me to read. No, I wasn't homeschooled either. There was just never any school at all. I only started learning to read when I came to live here. No, I, uh, Well... Our parents were... <laughs> the whole wolf thing gets passed down genetically. 
right that's why you have a teeny tiny percentage of it in you somewhere so for us it's grandfather then my mother then Caleb and me but she didn't want to be part of the pack which would have been fine but she didn't want to be a part of any normal sort of society either so. no she wasn't a good person like, I'm a bitch, but I'd help an old lady cross the street. You know, like, if a kid face planted in front of me, I, I'd probably still laugh, let's be honest. But then I'd pick it up and find its parent. You know, like, basic humanity stuff. She didn't have that. Like, something was really wrong with her. Not in a, like, a mental health way, in like a, I, I don't know. Anyway, as you met our dad, he's a disaster of a family. I think like those extremist cults they have documentaries on. No. Unfortunately, they're more common than you'd think. Anyways, they had Caleb and, long story short, grandfather got custody of him pretty quick when he found out some stuff. So when I was born, they didn't mention it to grandfather. They didn't mention it to the government either. I didn't have a birth certificate till I was 14. Was dad bad? Um, I mean, probably, but in comparison, nothing really stands out. I didn't really know him. I didn't have much to do with him at all. The men folk didn't take care of the kids. No TV. I mean, obviously. No books. I didn't know how to read a clock face. The boys were always taught stuff, but not the girls, though. We wouldn't need that. No speaking back, sit straight, children are seen and not heard. My hair was down to my knees my entire life. So I know it's considered long now, but this is the shortest I've ever been brave enough to cut it. And then the wolf part of me kicked in. Adults. We can control when we turn. That whole full moon bullshit is just bullshit. It's more like... Having the ability to sing. Singers just don't randomly burst into song like a musical. They can turn their voices on and off. It's kind of like that. I can turn whenever I want or I could never turn again. But someone has to teach us how to control it. She told me I turned into an animal because I was being punished. Hmm. Oh, for all sorts of things. But that string between you and me, the one you can only feel a little, there's a different sort of string between us and our packs, and our bloodlines. I didn't know what that feeling was, and my mother was so deluded that she'd forgotten. Apparently, that me changing sent off a massive red flare to the rest of the pack. So grandfather came to get me. You ever wonder where I get my temper from? Mm. I have never seen such anger. I thought he was going to burn the whole world down. Came here. Met Caleb. Learning I had a brother was a bit of a trip. 
that the others started learning all sorts of things. So, yeah. Anyway, that's why I thought fashion studies is stupid. <laughs> Oh, are you going to pity me now? Don't. It's a waste of energy. It won't change anything. <laughs> no, I don't speak to any of them. They could be dead, for all I know. I hope my mother is, at least. That would be a relief. I don't want to talk about that anymore. Come here. No, I know I'm changing the subject. I'm very aware I'm changing the subject. I'm sorry that you can't see your parents. Not right now, anyways. They actually sound like good ones. I'm trying to fix that, by the way. Work out a solution. Well, that was maybe part of the little disagreement me and grandfather had. His strategy is to keep the peace. I would rather show these other pets who's boss. Like, mess with us, fine, we're fair game, but mates should be left out of it. No, don't worry. They won't ever lay a finger on you. Well, you're mine now. For better or worse and all that shit, right? So I guess I better take care of you. You're my mate. And you're my good girl. I really should get up and at least shower or something. Oh, you could join me, could you? Mm -hmm. Have I been a bad influence on you? Good. Well, come on, Miss Goody Two Shoes. Let's corrupt you some more. 